Hello and welcome to DSTV Weekly News. My name is Brent Terry Almany, here to deliver you the latest news. Earlier this week, Jim Miller has been appointed to the role of Senior Vice President for University Advancement at Duquesne University, effective immediately. His appointment comes following his time in the position on an interim basis since July of this year. Previously, he served as the Associate Vice President and Senior Advisor to the President for Leadership Given. From behalf of DSTV, we would like to congratulate President Ken Gormley for his new book being released. It was published on Tuesday. The book centers on a character with some surface similarities to the author. The characters are Yinzers with roots deeper than any of the city's three rivers. Both left Pittsburgh to study law at Harvard University. Both returned out of a fascination with the Steel City, its history, its people, and its values. You can buy the book online from outlets such as Target, Amazon, and Goodreads. If you're looking for something to do this weekend, the Assumption Hall Residence Life staff will be hosting a trip on Saturday to Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium for the Asian Lights Festival. Experience the vibrant and colorful display of lights with some friends. The event will last from 6.30 to 10 p.m. This past Monday was Mental Health Awareness Day. Our correspondent, Bailey Martin, interviewed Charge Ambassador Claire Shipley about the organization's role on campus. I'm Bailey Martin with DSTV and I'm here with Claire Shipley. She is part of CHARGE on campus and I'm going to have her tell a little bit about what CHARGE is all about and how you can get your mental health right with CHARGE. CHARGE stands for Changing Health Attitudes and Actions to Help Recreate Girls and what we do is we basically show women that fitness and mental health and maintaining a healthy lifestyle is a lot more than just lifting weights at the gym. And so we partner with different local gym facilities and other studios around Pittsburgh. And we have a group of girls just go together once a week and we do that workout. And we also have socials, which can be anywhere from tie dyeing t-shirts to decorating cookies to even just hanging out before, you know, the stress of midterms and final exams. To get involved with CHARGE, you can email Claire at DuquesneCharge at gmail.com. In sports, Duquesne's football team was able to win 39-34 last Saturday at home against Bryan. On the game's final play, Bryan quarterback Zevi Ekus completed a half-field heave to wide receiver David Cirilla inside the Duquesne one-yard line. Zarilla was initially rolled down just outside the end zone and after a lengthy replay review, authenticated a wild Duquesne victory. The win extended the team's winning streak to four. The Dukes will have two weeks off before playing their next game on the road against Sacred Heart on October 23rd. The men's and women's cross country teams were both able to finish in first place at the Carnegie Mellon Invitational last Saturday. And both teams will look to continue their success by traveling to University Park, Pennsylvania today in the Penn State National Open. The Duquesne Bulletin team, coming off the program's first ever NCAA championship appearance, opens the 2021-22 season this weekend at the Motive Penguin Classic at Youngstown, Ohio's Holiday Bowl. The Dukes will play five Baker matches on Friday, five traditional matches Saturday, and a traditional plus, plus a pair of best of seven matches on Sunday as part of an 11-team field. Both the men's and women's soccer team will continue Atlantic 10 play this weekend as the men's team will travel to take on St. Joseph's on Saturday, while the women's team will travel to take on Rhode Island on Sunday. After the volleyball team dropped two of three matches from last weekend, the team will look to regroup as they will take on Fordham later on tonight and Rhode Island on Sunday. Both games will be played in the UPMC Cooper Fieldhouse. If you're going out, make sure you bring an umbrella as it is expected to rain later on tonight and Saturday. However, clear skies should be displayed on Sunday. That's all for this week's news. Join me next week for your campus updates. With DSTV, I'm Brent Terry and I'll see you again next week.